And they came with their flags, colorful costumes, and even the snow cone machine. All right, my dear. The message coming from hundreds both in and out of council chambers, Vice Mayor Ted Hickman needs to resign. Elected officials need to be a representative of the entire community. The outrage comes after Hickman called for Straight Pride America Month in his column in the local paper. He went on to write, we are different from them. We work, have families, and babies we make, and don't flaunt our differences dressing up like fairies. After the Fuhrer, Hickman addressed the chamber saying it's his right to express his opinion. I didn't give up my First Amendment right when I became an elected official. Police added an increased presence. However, those gathered in this small agricultural community stayed peaceful while pushing back. I'm concerned for the economic impact. I think it would be appropriate for the city to, uh, it, to issue an official apology. To remove Mr. Hickman from any leadership position. It's typical, Ted. He has a, a very uh, strange sense of humor. That Michael Saramello works with Hickman at the Dixon Independent Voice and says this isn't the first time the vice mayor has caused controversy. I mean, he does blonde jokes. People don't like the blonde jokes. We've lost advertisers over that. Um, but it's just, that's just his style. While not apologizing, Hickman says he does regret referring to himself as vice mayor in his explosive column. I would not use the words, sarcastically or not, a vice mayor because I see where that may be unacceptable to some.